Well, it's a pleasure to have Michelle Rue back to Vancouver for the fourth time since 2003. Mm, quite right. Yes, welcome back. And this time, you're here promoting your new latest book, The Essence of French Cooking. So is this traditional or contemporary or recipes from your former restaurant, um, you know, or the Waterside Inn? Mm, or? Well, not and it's a bit of uh, all what you say which is uh, contemporary, but a bit of the past. And uh, what uh, the essence of French cooking was not born yesterday. It's been, I mean, you've got the Tornador Rossini in there, for example, which was... Which is very traditional. Yeah, and that was created by Anton, Antoine Carême for uh, the celebre uh, Rossini. That's with uh, the foie gras on top yes, of the Tornador. Right. Yeah. So, you see that going back to the 1840. So, over 200 ye uh, uh, years. Uh, two, two Have you years. adapted some of these traditional recipes to contemporary a little, kitchen? A little, whenever I believe it was needed. And that's important. I think the most important in life is when something works and it's still what I call fashionable. Mm -hmm. What I mean by fashionable, acceptable. It's a bit like a piece of art. Yes. There is yes. some piece of art which will always be of actuality. Mm -hmm. uh, there are others where you've got to do something about it. Uh, so that's what we're talking about. Really. And are there some re of your favorite recipes that you like to cook at home? Yes, for example, a nice onion soup. Uh, I love it. Uh, squash soup, uh, citrouille, yeah. uh, uh, winter squash uh, soup. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, in winter squash soup, you're talking about contemporary. Uh, I often now uh, put some slice a very thin slice of scallops raw on the bottom of my dish oh, nice. and pour the soup. It's bubbling. Like it almost makes it bubbling. Just and, and, and exactly. They just warm them up. I think the service at Barbara Road oh. uh, is absolutely it's, outstanding. It's great to have a nice housekeeper like her mm -hmm. around. I, I, would, I would say she's fantastic. Yes. <laughs> Once she's in a good mood, we're, we're okay. <laughs> I hope it's all recorded. So, some of your other favorite recipes, what would you do? Ah, uh, because you see, the question is relevant when you look at uh, the book, and uh, there's just over 100 recipes on the land 10. Uh, and when you talk about the essence of French cooking and really the heritage uh, of all our chefs over the last century, mm -hmm. uh, we've been left for us to use there and enjoy. Uh, we're talking about thousands and thousands of recipes. So it's been quite tough for me to obviously condense and to choose amongst those thousands of recipes. How, how many recipes are in here? Just over 100, 110. And it's yeah. a nicely bound and nicely photographed book yes, as it well. Is. Yeah. Mm. Well, it's got to be. In my book, in my opinion, <laughs> and in my book, I like to see photo of the finished dish. Uh, and it's got to be a photo which is not reassuring, but the true pictures, yes. meaning no lie. Yes. No lie. Some recipe, 60% of the recipe which are in the book are easy peasy. Mm -hmm. Anyone who, can, who likes to cook at home, it could be done in French cooking, but just yes. cooking yes. by itself could follow the recipe. Now, my favorite recipe? Well, funny enough, one on the front cover there. The souffle. Souffle. <laughs> oh, oh, I tell you, when, when it's a question of, of souffle, yes. people get intimidated and I don't understand. Because. It, that's right, there's always this feeling of, oh, it's going to flop. Yes. But. Oh, then it's never going to rise. Yeah, but souffles are very easy to do. <laughs> yes, it is. It's, you've got to be confident and you've got to have the mix at the right uh, temperature as well. Yes. Very often people do their mix, um, could be a souffle for dessert or a, a, a savoury souffle. The mix must be warm to hot, never bubbling, and certainly not cold, because the egg white don't mix properly. Yes, that's and right. the eggs white as well. It's always better to use egg white, which have been put and kept in the deep freeze for a little while. Oh, really? Yes, because okay. the egg white, when you beat them, will hold better and yes. develop better. Yes. That's a little tip and tricks, I would call it. Huh? So do you think this is like a retirement project? Because do you, do you miss Le Gavroche and Waterside, which your son operates? Yes, well, the Waterside is... Uh, uh, I still go to the Waterside because I learned my son 
is in charge and yes, in charge yes. for the last ten years. The Gavroche, I go there because it's my brother yes. and his son, Michel. Yes. I, I go there on this occasion during the year. But the water side is I'm very much involved into the fact that this is my son. And yes. I still got my wife living with a tiny little house nearby. So, and I enjoy the food there, I've got to say. Now, so at the end of the day, it's me visiting my son and my grandchildren. He's got yes. two lovely <laughs> uh, kids. He's got Paul, who is six years old, and little Louise, who is two years old. And uh, I'm sorry. Do you, do you miss working in the kitchen? No, because I, I work in many kitchens around the world. Mm -hmm. Because I do a lot of promotion. Mm -hmm. I do a lot of master classes in colleges, university. Uh, but promotion, I mean, for example, uh, I will be cooking in Taipei uh, in the next three or four months at the Mandarin Oriental. It's one of my favorite cities. It is. Lovely. For food. Lovely. Yeah. And people are connoisseurs. They yes. love their food. Yes. They love their seafood. So I'm going to choose quite a lot of food, fish and seafood there. And funny enough, they love beef as well. So I'm, I might have the tornado or see me, you see. Uh, that's interesting. Yes. And, and the other thing, uh, I'm going to go to Malaysia, to uh, a small island, which is situated in Malaysia. And, and in a small island, and small coast. And then I'll take two or three of my chefs, a couple of my waiters, and I cook for a week or two weeks. Yes. And, and uh, you know, new book. Again, when I got a new book, I got I, I to work and I appealed on the recipe. And I developed my recipe in South of France. Oh, by the way, that's my vineyard there, which is uh, here. Oh, in the Lac Côte d'Azur. Lac Côte d'Azur. Uh, that's my... For my house, that's what I'm seeing, the vineyard. Well, I'll be in, uh, no. working in that area next year. as part of the ah. honeymoon. We should ah. visit. Ah. <laughs> Lovely. Yeah. So... So you... you I still raise, cook. You yes. still cook. Yes. But you were raised with the essence of French technique. Yes. And you travel Asia a lot now. Yes, so my favorite part of what, the world. what are you from, some of your favorite Asian dishes and have you influenced some of the Asian technique into your mm, cooking? No, I've been introducing some of the ingredients in my food from time to time. Mm -hmm. Herbs and spices and food on some occasion. But the, the, the technique uh, and uh, apply in French cooking do uh, not work exactly the same. Yes, yes. Uh, they don't. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, if you're talking about Japanese food, they serve it raw very often. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, you're talking about uh, uh, all, all the most beautiful fish for life, and they serve it immediately. immediately uh, yes, okay. absolutely, which is fantastic. Mm -hmm. I love it. But we don't do it that way. We will do it with a, a, a marinade a thaïsienne, with a bit of volleyball, and squeeze lemon like juice. Like a ceviche. Absolutely. Yeah. A ceviche. Yeah. That's what we will do. Mm -hmm. So it's similarity. Mm -hmm. But what, what I get from those countries, uh, I get it. My inspiration is more as a consumer yes. than as a professional. Yes. You know, it's when you have been, my father was a chef, my grandfather was a chef, I'm a chef and my son is a chef. I think. But you started as a pastry chef. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. But yes, but moving very quickly to cooking. Yes. That's yeah. right. So and pastry, when you know pastry, you can cook very immediately. Yes. Uh, it's so easy. While if you have not worked in pastry, but only in cooking, and you want to become a pâtissier, yeah. that's another that's story. That's another story. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So. Well, yeah. thank you for having the time to come yeah. and visit us. Yeah. Do you have another book? Uh, Nathan, I never signed a contract for a book before. Uh, my book, my current book, is printed. Mm -hmm. um, I will be talking to my publisher in the next few months, and it will, if it is, and it, there will be another book. It, we're not talking about publication before two or three years. Yes. Because the quantity is not quality. The less right. is more, and quality is important. A book take me four months when it's a small format. This one took me eight months of work spread over the last three years. And you tested all the recipes? In your yes. And uh, they, I did all the zigzag for in France, crisscrossing. I went to Brittany, north of France, south of France, and all the photos, 90% of the photos were taken in location. Oh, 
And if you want to do something well, next time, no ghostwriter, <laughs> no home economist, <laughs> I can't stand them. I'm doing my job. Yes, I'm yeah. doing the cooking and the washer up. <laughs> Thank you so much. Merci. Merci. Thank you very much.